It's been a long time since we've seen this bike, but today we're reviving the fat bike. Please welcome back, Commando Bear. Commando Bear, your tires are big and so is your heart. We've missed you. Commando Bear, Commando Bear, Commando Bear. Now, if you're new to this channel or haven't seen this bike before, I bought this thing in May of 2018 on eBay, used for about $600. I then released a video in October of 2018, so about a year ago, just kind of doing an overview of the bike and why I absolutely loved riding this thing. But after that video, I kind of haven't ridden it much. Uh, lately, I went on a couple rides with it and remembered how much fun it was, and I thought to myself, I can make this thing a little bit better. All right. Riding the fat bike. So, I don't know if you can tell, these bars are only 740 millimeters wide, uh, which is okay, I guess, but with a front derailleur, a dropper, a rear derailleur, brakes, it just looks cluttered and messy. And I did a horrible job setting up this cockpit when I got it. The brakes are way too far out. That's my fault, I'm an idiot. Uh, so, we're gonna need to fix that. Oh, we're Yellow Root, let's play on this. Oh, there we go. If you're hearing more noise from the drivetrain than usual, that's because this bike has a two by drivetrain. Uh, two by 10 to be more specific. I think that's an area we can improve too. All right, and after all that talk about two bys and not being necessary, I'm gonna try this climb in the big chain ring, I think it's a 36. Oh, sh no. <laughs> there we go. Ah, drop chain, two by problems. Ah. <laughs> drop chain again. Two by is not worth it. Okay, 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 we get the point. I obviously don't like the front derailleur on this bike. The other thing I didn't like was the narrow handlebars and these really cheap foam grips that came with it. They offer absolutely no support and that's really the reason why my hands would always hurt after riding this bike. And then another glaring issue are these cheap diamondback pedals that came with the bike. So if you do want a rundown of what this bike came specced with when I bought it, you're gonna have to click this link over here to watch the video I made last year. I kind of go into more detail about all the components it has or had back then. It's an absolutely amazing video. I submitted it to the Academy for an Oscar. I haven't heard back yet, uh, I'm still hopeful. With these annoyances in mind about this bike, I started shopping online, which is a dangerous habit. So for the front end of the bike, I found these Nuke Proof Horizon bars and they're blue. Next, I got these Ergon GA3 grips. I read a lot of reviews about these being very comfortable and, and supportive for my delicate hands. For the pedals, I went and found these Fukers on Amazon. I'm not cussing at you, they're literally called Fuker. These are basically race face chesters, just a knockoff version of them. Time will tell how reliable and durable these are. But for 20 bucks compared to 40 or 50 for a race face Chester, on this bike that isn't worth that much, I'm willing to take that risk. Now with the front derailleur, it had a 36 and a 22 tooth chain ring. I went with a 28 tooth chain ring just because this isn't a race bike. I figured I'd rather have uh, a lower front chain ring for better climbing abilities. Also, it's heavy, so it, the easier it is on my legs, the better. So back to my online searching, I found a Shimano XT Dior rear derailleur for 11 speed. Also the shifter, I think it was 60 or 70 for the derailleur, uh, 40 for the shifter. And then I bought an 11 speed cassette off a local rider named Santiago for 30 bucks. So with all these new parts, I've probably spent uh, close to $300 which is relatively affordable in the world of bike parts. I tried to make these upgrades as cheap as possible while still transforming the feel of the bike. And I think I did a pretty good job. Let's go ahead and skip to a quick montage of me installing it all, and then we'll get back out on the trails and see how it feels. Bye. 
Shram X5, farewell, front derailleur. So happy to have this off. Goodbye, front derailleur. Ooh. That looks way better already. Ah. Yeah. All right, here it is. Twenty-eight tooth oval. Looks much better, right? The handlebars and grips feel better. I like the wider stance on my arms. The XT derailleur and one by system is amazing. Uh, I don't fear my chain falling off anymore. Oh, yeah, not a problem. That, oh, yes. Okay, that was a good test there. These grips feel so much better when dropping. Last time my wrist got destroyed on that, but uh, that actually felt like I had a little bit of suspension in the front. These carefully curated components are really working out. Oh, here's a fun little... Nice. Oh, these grips are great. Totally changes the feel of this bike. At least for my hands and wrist. So I was telling Chris, there's a couple climbs I want to try to do that I was able to do when I had a two-by. Uh, so I want to make sure I can still do them with the one-by system. You know, since we lost nine gearing options. There we go. Ah! thing is just a monster of improvement. <gasps> Spike is so fast if you push it. Oh. <laughs> oh. So much fun. I'm really enjoying this bike. These simple upgrades make you feel pretty transformed. I think the biggest difference is the grips and the fatigue on my wrists and arms are drastically reduced. Last time we dropped the chain on this section because I had a two by. We'll try it now, it should be fine. I'm in a horrible gear, but let's go. All right. Last year here. Oh, it just looks so cool from back here. I never get to see it from this angle. Not Chris, the bike. Uh. As the sun is setting, I think I've proved the value in these upgrades. So we'll head back to the house and wrap this up. All right.
right, what an exciting ride that was. Chris even got in on the fun. I think he had a good time riding the fat bike. Uh, so good on you, Chris. I'm so pleased with these upgrades. Uh, when I first got them, I was like, ah, you know, it's not gonna make a big difference and I probably wasted a good amount of money. I still sort of feel that way just cause this isn't my main bike and I probably won't ride it too much but I'm definitely gonna ride it a bit more. The first thing I kept saying was uh, the grips and the bars, just going off drops and even rocky, chunky sections. Uh, it, it, it definitely hurt my wrists far, far less. Um, it almost felt like I had, I don't know, 20 millimeters of suspension travel up front. Next thing I noticed, I was still able to climb things easily. Um, I didn't struggle getting up any hills. So I think the 28 tooth was a good option. Um, so total weight savings was 1.2 pounds. Not as much as I had hoped, but you know, again, for a bike that heavy, I am willing to take any weight savings I can get. So I'm excited to have this bike back. It never went anywhere, it just kind of didn't get ridden. So you'll probably be seeing more of this bike on the channel just because I am enjoying riding it a lot more than I used to. Let me know what you guys think of these upgrades. Did I do a good job? What would you have put on it? What would you change? Let me know in the comments below. I'm curious to hear what you think. Winter's coming, Commando Bear's back. I don't really have a winter where I live. It definitely does not snow here, so I, I, I don't know. I think it's amazing fun. I said that in my video last year. You can watch that. Again, it's incredible. It's full of facts and statistics that are scientifically proven to make you happier. Uh, so go check out that video. You won't, you won't regret it. Uh, and if you do regret it, share it with someone you hate so they can regret it too. I appreciate you if you are subscribed. If you're not, please consider doing so. A new adventure on wheels awaits you weekly, and we'd love to have you here. Thank you so much for watching, and until next week, stay rowdy within reason.